Hi fellow makeup fans, today I'm going to do an outfit of the day as I've been requested to do a few more outfits of the days because uh, I recently asked you what kind of videos you might like to see. So we've already filmed Alex out for this day, uh, which I hope you thought was really nice because <laughs> he looks kind of cute today. Um, and I've got my outfit of the day on, I've got these sunglasses that we got from where? Top Man? No idea. Yeah, but they're clear framed and they were Alex, but I've kind of nicked them because I really like them and he'll just sit on them. We prefer a star. Yeah, they're really, star. they're really nice. I've seen Rihanna in something re like familiar to this recently, yes. haven't we? Okay, so, yeah. I've got them on. Um, I'll put the, the top. information about the face of the day in the down bar because I filmed a little video of me putting this makeup on. But on my lips is Lickable by MAC, which Alec likes that colour. And I've got Urban Decay eyeshadow and eyeliner on. Um, Maybelline Foundation Garnier BB Cream, number 7 Shine Free Matte Primer, and number 7 Cream Blusher, and some um, Porcelain Pink by MAC Highlighter on the cheeks. Then coming down, I've got on this necklace, which was a pound in outfit sale. It's a daisy in a perspex circle. Looks a little bit like a fried egg. Does not look like a fried egg. Well, okay. <laughs> I've got earrings from Topshop which are basically sort of dip dyed crosses, pink at the bottom, gold at the top. And then I've just got my engagement ring on. That's the only other jewellery I've got on. Then I've got on this men's jacket. It's kind of a dinner jacket. I got this from a charity shop. It's from Burton. Oh, the premium range. Ha <laughs> ha, premium. I think it was about four pounds. It's got inside pockets and then it's got a top pocket, which I've just put a scarf in from Primark. It's got stars on it. And what I love about men's jackets is just all of the different places that you can put stuff. So you've got your top pocket, you've got inside pockets, then you've got nice big roomy pockets on the sides. And I really, I've always worn men's jackets. I used to love them at university because I could put all my crap in the pockets. <laughs> and I like that. <laughs> and then I've got this top on that Alec got me from a charity shop. And it's got feather print all over it. I really love this. It's really nice. It's nice and floaty. And it shows off the details on the jeans a little bit because it comes up a little bit shorter. The jeans are skinny jeans from River Island Sale. They were 40 and they were down to 20. I love these. And then I've got these boots on. Alec found these as well. He's an excellent bargain hunter. It was buy one, get one free in the Matalan Sale. And it was £6 for two pairs. So these were £3 and they're just kind of a canvas material and Millie wants it, don't you Millie? Oh, she's lovely. <laughs> oh, kisses. <laughs> oh. Oh. Millie's such a show off, she has to get in shot, don't you Millie? Yeah. <laughs> so that's my outfit of the day and I hope you've enjoyed it. I've just got my hair down, not done anything with it at all hey, except yeah. straighten the fringe. So that's it, thank you very much, see you soon. Bye. Right, Alec, come over here. Give me your outfit of the day. Hi. Well, today I'm wearing my Lacoste <laughs> official Ooh. polo shirt, which has got hairs on. I've got my skinny jeans by, I can't remember who these are by now, Drian. And I've got boots on, tucked in. Tucked wanted in. Style. Ooh, it's from the Wanted. The wanted collection. <laughs> <laughs> what a boy. Boy band. Fifty. Fifties <laughs> boy band. 50 remember. Boy band <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alec. <laughs>I hope you've enjoyed my outfits of the day. I'm going to put a little bit of a face of the day at the end, including some photographs and some speeded up footage of me putting my makeup on. If you don't want to watch it, it will be the last thing on the video, so you can always just stop at that point. Um, I've got here some things I've kind of hauled recently. Um, we've been out shopping today and we oh, I didn't I only really got one thing today but I kind of thought I'd just show you some things that I have got recently um we're going to start with these amazing tins because tins are something that I collect and I'm probably going to do a video on it I want to do a series of videos in a sort of getting to know me sort of videos where I reveal different things about certain passions and hobbies I have and interests and kind of show you some of my collections and one of those things is tins 
So these are the ones that were recently in Sainsbury's for Christmas. They were for the Sainsbury's shortbread selection. So they had them in black and they also had them in Now she actually sent me a really, really funny photograph of these tins, which I thought was really good. And I will try and attach it at the end of the haul if I can. If I can't, I'll take a photograph of it on the screen because it was really good. Um, but yeah, I just sent her a couple of beauty items and she sent me these two tins, which I absolutely love. They're gorgeous. So I'll have to find a place to put those. I'm just gonna, them out the way because they're taking up a lot of the desk. Um, another thing that I got recently is this pot that my daughter made for me. It was for my birthday but the art teacher, she made it in art and the art teacher had kept them for a long time and yeah. not marked them yeah. so I was a bit delayed in getting it but it's made out of clay and basically they're doing kind of patterns and shapes and things. The art is Klimt. And this is inspired by Klimt, Gustav Klimt. Yeah. You would have seen the famous picture The Kiss. And it's a little pot. I had to do loads of stuff. I like containers and things. So she made this and then she decided to give that to me for my birthday. Mm -hmm. And I've got a lot of things that Tony has made me over the years, all displayed around the house because I'm very proud of them. <laughs> and I love them. So I've got that. I'm going to put that safely yeah. out of the way. And then just go on to a few little things that I've kind of picked up. There are other things, but I haven't got them here with me and I'll probably mention those in upcoming videos. Oh, can you get Tom? Yeah, I'll go meet. Yeah. All right. Oh yes. Okay. So I'll start with one thing that I got from Topshop, um, which was these glasses. Look at the sellotape on. I hadn't realised. Uh, I don't know how much these were originally, but they cost three pound in the sale, and I love them. They're a pale blue with flowers on them. Are well, kind of a grey colour actually. Little red roses on them. I love patterned sunglasses. I like them. I think they're kind of fun. Yeah, you've got like ones shaped like apples. Yeah, I've got oh, I've got these amazing ones shaped like apples. I have to show them to you. They're fantastic, and I've got ones that shaped like hearts. But my apple ones are my favourite ones, and they were probably the most expensive pair I've ever bought because they cost me ten pound. Which doesn't sound a lot for sunglasses, but for me, um, sunglasses are things that can be easily broken. You chuck them in your bag, so I don't like to spend a lot of money on them. In fact, I absolutely love the Primark ones, and I've got quite a few pairs of the Primark ones. They are more breakable but when you pay one pound one pound fifty for a pair of sunglasses it doesn't really matter if they only last you for one summer um, but these were three pounds they're really strong and sturdy floral pattern on the outside white on the inside and i love them so i got them um in boots there's been a three for two on beauty uh, i got the neutrogena duo wave cleanser which i showed you the soap and glory peaches and clean and i picked up and i don't think i've shown you is the evian brummus Brumus I can't say it. It's that <laughs> Brumus Brumus yeah. Brumus So it's basically just a water spray. <laughs> and it refreshes you. And it's lovely for through the day. I did spray it on Tony when she was very hot walking home from school and she thought it was fabulous. So yeah. And it's absolutely brilliant for setting your makeup on a morning. It sets it really well and makes it a bit more long lasting. So yeah, I've been loving that. So I thought I'd quickly mention that one. Also, I've had the five pound vouchers for number seven. Um, obviously, because the three for two has been on, I picked two lots of three for twos up, and I picked up a few vouchers. So I invested in the number seven beautiful skin hot cloth cleanser. Everybody's going on about these, so I thought I'd give one a go. I know that the ones from um, Superdrug are two ninety nine, but I just you know I love number seven. I really like the packaging and the products and. I'm a sucker for that, so <laughs> there you go. I had the £5 voucher, this is normally retails for 10 and it was 5 I've tried it, my skin felt totally amazing after I'd used it, so I'm definitely going to do a separate review on that. And then I picked up two of number 7's cheek tints, and these are basically cream blushes from number 7. This one is called... Tony will read it, I haven't got my glasses on. Um, number 15, Rose Silk. Rose Silk. This is a pink colour. I've got it on today, but you know, it's late at night now. Yeah. And this one is peach silk. I love this one. It's a lovely sort of, it's a dark colour really. It's not like a light peach. It's a, it's a warm peach. A dark coral, a dark peach. It's a dark peach. Yeah. But these are really nice and I just apply them with the Real Technique Stippling Blush. 
I really love cream blushes, particularly in the summer, they are very nice, but they are just really feel really good on the skin. So I picked those up, and that's all from Boots. I've had a couple of charity shop finds. This one is the Sweet Valley Confidential. I used to read the Sweet Valley High books when I was younger. In fact, I read them all, and I've got a massive stack of them on the drawers behind me yeah. that I intend on reading again, to be honest, because they are such amazing books. I love them. But um, Alec found this one in a charity shop for three books for 50 pence and we picked up Stephen King's Misery because I love the film and never, never read the book and another one I can't remember it's called The Missing I can't remember who the author is um, but this is fantastic this is actually 10 years on so this will be really interesting to read to see what happened to Jessica and Elizabeth 10 years after high oh. school so I'm looking forward to reading that at the moment I'm reading the Pretty Little Liars books if you'd like me to do some videos on books I'd love to do that I'm an avid reader I usually only stick to three authors but I will do a, probably a video so we'll not get too much into that for now pop that over there right. lovely assistant and then now I want to introduce somebody just got a little flash of them there Alec found this in a charity shop and it was £1.49 yes. and I am so in love with it and some of you might think what the hell and some of you might want to go eh eh but <laughs> I do quite like cuddly toys. I don't have a gazillion of them, yeah. but I do quite like cuddly toys and I've got a few on my bed. Um, so, Alec found this and he was like, you have to come and see this and see if you want it. And of course I looked at it and instantly fell in love. He's really lovely and f just cuddly and he's quite solid. He's lovely to cuddle and he's like the shape of a baby. <laughs> so he's quite nice to hold and he's just he's really lovely and he looks really nice sitting on the bed and Alec always laughs at him every morning because he says he's got a really joyful face but I put him in the washing machine he was a dirty grey and now he's a lovely blue grey and it's Tom it's Tom from Tom and Jerry and he's got these hands here that like ooh, ooh, <laughs> excited hands and when you hold him the hands kind of go on your shoulder <laughs> Uh, he's quite funny, it's just the way he's kind of paused, but he is quite large. Yeah. There's his little feet. He's got a lovely tail. But that's him there. And that's his lovely happy face. <laughs> I mean, how could you resist a face like that? It's just so cute. Alec found a one. Alec! Found with a, with a onesie which has Mickey Mouse's on and cuddling. Tom and Tom and he said to her, you look, you look like a child. Yeah. Alec one night came in from work and he was really late from work and I don't like sleeping alone to be fair because I'm used to him being there. So I cuddled up with Tom just watching the telly and kind of, it's quite nice just to cuddle him. He feels very cosy and warm and it was a cold night and I had on my Mickey Mouse all-in-one pyjama suit. Which you have to see. Yeah, which you have to say at some point because it's so cute. And anyway, I was cuddling Tom and I'd fallen asleep and he just said I looked like an oversized baby with a romper suit on cuddling me cuddly toy. He thought it was very amusing and he had a, a big laugh about that. But yes, that's Tom. So he's gorgeous and he sits on my bed and looks very happy every morning. He makes him smile. Um, the next couple of things are um, Primark things. So I got a scarf, which was only three pounds, and it's really nice, it's so unusual. And it's cream colored, and it's got lots of writing on it. It says pink quite a lot in there, and I love pink as an artist, so I thought that was good. It's got like um, little shields and peace signs, um, skulls, stars, hearts, it's just got everything on there. It's really nice, and it can just work with anything. It's got reds and teals and things and yellows in, and I've been wearing that all week. That was three pounds. And then I got two t-shirts, got one for Tony, and um, this is the one I got for Tony. To... I think I got this on Zoom or something. Oh, right. I'll try and back off a bit here. Okay, so this is the t-shirt and it's Jessie J. And as you can see it's her face. They only had two left, so I had to get a size 14. I would normally just get Tony a 10. Um, but like the lady said, um, she says these are just ordinary fit. She says they're not meant to be oversized. She says her 14 is probably more like a 12. And she likes them baggy, so I thought, well, you know, that'll be okay and it'll last a good long time. But it's a lovely picture of Jessie J. With kind of embellishment on her lips there. She's got like little rhinestones on or something. Uh, it kind of looks like diamonds. It's just mirror glass. Yes, 
Yeah, mirror glass, it looks like diamonds on our lips. So that's her Jessie J t-shirt, and these are from Primark, and they're £8, but they're not actually Primark made, they're actually official products. So these are from Jessie J, so that's quite nice, they are quite nicely made, lovely fabric. And in the same range, I got a Rihanna one, oh. and it's the cover from the Loud, Loud album. Yeah, Loud. And that's fantastic, so I love that. And that's that's an oversized one though. That's really quite baggy, but I like that because it looked really good on. Um, so I've got them. Oh, oh. I have another one like that. She's in a common field and she's looking. It was from a video. That's the cut album cover. Today I picked up a t-shirt. Alec gave me some money to the street. <laughs> and I picked up a t-shirt. The top antique Air Max, and it's kind of holy at the front. <laughs> so it's got this burnt out sort of hole pattern here and it's just playing on the back and what I wanted was something quite pretty I didn't want anything really plain but it's to go with some navy blue shorts I've got that have got braces attached to them and you can't tuck anything in because the fabric's not very thick and you can actually see the, the fabric line so I wanted something that would go to the waist and would sit comfortably on the top of the shorts so I didn't have to tuck it in and this is the perfect length for that so that was from TK Maxx, it was £9.99. And now, this is the most exciting part. The, the ultimate. The ultimate, because I actually screamed when I got this this morning. I didn't even hear it. Tony didn't hear it, she was fast asleep, but it was very loud. <laughs> um, so, it was mine and Alex's anniversary on Thursday. It was actually the anniversary of us meeting online, not the actual anniversary of our first meeting. So we don't actually buy each other cards and gifts and things, but we do recognise it as a special day because it is the day that we first interacted online. Um, but Alec decided to buy me something, so he got me this. And it's very exciting. It's the new Kids on the Block official annual from 1992. I had this. It's, it's probably in the loft somewhere. It's not the thing, it's the thing inside. Yes. <laughs> so I was really excited. I was like, oh, I'm really excited about that. I was like, oh, I love that picture. And as I'm flicking through, I was going, I had that picture. I had that poster. I had that poster. Because <laughs> I had all the posters, all these lovely pictures that are in here. Um, so yeah, it's really fantastic. I've got this one on the inside of my wardrobe. Yeah. <gasps> love that picture. So I'm a huge New Kids on the Block fan. Now we have we weren't able to get tickets for the show because they're actually coming. I actually went to see them quite recently, and Donny held my hand. <laughs> Tony's like, oh my god, shut up! <laughs> I talk about it all the time because yeah. I just it still feels hot. Whenever I talk about it, it's hot <laughs> from where Donny held it. I put out my hand and Donny grabbed it and Tony stuck off. Anyway, <laughs> the tour in again and it's NKOTBSB. So it's New Kids on the Block and the Backstreet Boys touring together. Yeah, and I quite like the Backstreet Boys. I mean, I wasn't, you know, post this all over the room fan. I just really like their music and, you know, I like them. Um, but New Kids were my thing. Huge mm -hmm. New Kids fan. Still a New Kids fan. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm flicking through the book. And I got to the back and saw that there was a concert ticket in the back. And I kind of thought, oh, he's got this from a charity shop. And somebody had obviously been to see them and stuck the concert ticket in the back of it. But then I looked at it and, and it says NKOTVSB. And I was like, oh, well, that's off the new tour. And then I realised that it was for the date April the 24th. And I screamed because <laughs> I'm going to see them. I'm so excited. Are you going to go see Steps as well? I'm going to see Steps. I'm going to see Steps. It, oh, it's, it's quite a reunion month. Seeing yes. people I haven't seen in so long. So I'm going to see Steps um, on April the 8th. Very excited about that. And then going to see New Kids on April the 24th. So yeah, I think it'll be absolutely fantastic show. And I've never seen the Backstreet Boys live. So I think that's really exciting as well. Because I've heard they're really good live. So I can't wait to see that. And it's quite a unique stage. Because it's... um. A standard stage but it's got this really massive long walkway that comes right down the hall and I think that'll be really good. So you're going to get a good view but I'm actually in the block next to the stage, higher up, like up on the upper tier, right in the front row of the upper tier. I thought you might get a hold of Donnie's hand again. No, sadly. <laughs> but they might just pick me from the audience to go on the stage. <laughs> One can dream. So that's New Kids on the Block and I'm very excited and I'll do an outfit of the night for that and I'll tell you all about it should you want to hear it. Um, I know that one of my um, 
subscribers Shelly I can't remember the rest of the her name but I'll put it in the down bar Shelly always comments on my videos and she's a huge New Kids on the Block fan as well so I definitely will know that Shelly will watch that video even if nobody else will <laughs> and yeah she's a very good friend of mine so she'll be excited for me um, if even if nobody else is excited for me she will be um, so upcoming videos I've got coming up a review of the number 7 hot cloth cleanser what's in my makeup bag which I was tagged to do by the gorgeous Hayes Betts I got so excited when she tagged me in her video and she went me really loudly and she said my name got excited I still get excited when people mention my name in their videos That's, um, it's just really nice yes. it's an honour like ah! <laughs> um, I've also got a couple of MAC lipsticks but I'm going to do a separate video on those and I've also got this arrived today one of them I was going to do this video today but I'm expecting another Alec forgot to cancel his glossy box Woo <laughs> unfortunately I did feel bad so I did give him the address to cancel next month so it's just a very sad occasion mm -hmm. I do like getting two glossy boxes because so far the two that I've been getting I've got two completely different boxes which is amazing because I've had a good variety of products and I've really been enjoying the products I've got so but yeah he forgot to cancel so I did get two Harrods glossy boxes um so I have actually opened this one um because excitement prevented me from waiting until Monday when the other ones will most likely come nice so this is what it looks like um it just says the Harrods edition and it's got the Harrods logo at the bottom and I, can, I guess I can kind of show you inside it comes with the card and then it's got the Harrods ribbon which is green with gold insignia with a Harrods name on and a Harrods sticker I'm not going to go any further than that I am really happy with the contents of this if I did get another that was the same I'd be very happy with that too um, so yeah excited to get my next one and I'll film it as soon as I get it and then get that straight up so those are some of my videos coming up and I'm also going to start doing a series of talk videos where I talk about different issues going to talk about motherhood going to talk about love, going to talk about domestic violence um, and as I said I'm going to start doing the get to know me type videos as well so I've got lots of plans for lots of exciting videos coming up so I hope you'll enjoy those I did an outfit of the day because I've had a couple of requests to do that particularly from my lovely friend um, TigerMate81 um, she definitely, she kind of said oh I really like your outfits of the day so we did, we did ours today um, and I, as I say they're going to be included in this video so yeah lots of exciting things coming up and i hope you're enjoying my videos so far and that you continue to enjoy them if you have any ideas for any upcoming videos please let me know i'm more than happy to do them because i'm really excited to be doing videos and just branching out and doing new things really so that's it i'm waffling as always <laughs> i'm gonna go thank you very much for watching see you all soon take care bye Completely. Oh, I don't think I, I, I recorded any of that. I think it did. I'm not sure if I did.